Okay, I'm gonna try to do a video here of the undercarriage of the 1955 Chevy Bel Air convertible. Um, <clears throat> hopefully, you dyed in the wool Tri Five guys can look at this undercarriage and realize that these are all the original inner fenders, all the original sheet metal from 1955, all the original body mounts, which we all know all rotted out. These are factory original 1955 body mounts um, that have had no welding repair. Um, this was not a cancer patient. Um, I can't tolerate rust in any degree. But uh, if you could look at this car close up in real life, um, and if you know anything about the original sheet metal on these early Tri Fives, uh, a lot of these cars are, you know, they're asking 125,000 for them, and uh, they've got all new floors, and they've all been painted up underneath. This is uh, pretty much a virgin. Um, it's a little 265 four barrel power glide transmission. Um, the exhaust system is still virtually in beautiful condition. A little bit of oxidation, brand new uh, gas filter right there. Um, all brand new stainless steel gas tank. Um, the motor has around 700 braking miles on a completely Brand new rebuild, 30, board 30 over, I guess it was. Uh, all the original pinch wheels on the, on the rear quarters, all the original bracings. This is a modified exhaust system, which a lot of the old timers seem to like. Um, It's got a beautiful sound to it. You'll hear it. Uh, once again, if you're looking for a nice, rust-free, unmolested undercarriage with no new floors put in, no new body mounts, the body mounts on this are, as I say, 1955. We all know they used to collect salt and sand and rot out. I will tell you, um, if you, if you, Try five guys know anything about these early cars and you're looking at this video you'll know that this frame is so clean and all these floors with the exception of having a nice uh light protectant on the floors they're all original and hopefully you can get an idea of how clean it is underneath thank you very much for looking